Today, we're batching reels. We are gonna walk through a simple system that will help you stay consistent with your reels and never run out of content ideas again. I'm also gonna show you my shortcuts so that you can reduce your shooting and editing time and cut it by at least half. Yes, at least half. And if you saw my last video, you know that I normally don't batch videos. I think it's the reporter inside me. When I was a TV reporter, we had deadlines and we had to meet them every day, but it doesn't mean that you shouldn't batch reels. It's just, that's not the way that I normally do it. We're going to see if I can do it today. And I'm going to give you something that is so money when it comes to video. Doesn't matter if it's a reel, IG stories, YouTube, when you can figure out how to document your day, instead of just creating content, you're going to be much more relatable and your videos are gonna be way more interesting. Like this right now, this is when I normally would eat. So I started my video here because me standing in the same place in every video is boring. And if I want you to feel like you know me, I want you to see all parts, all sides, all places. I mean, maybe not all of them, but you get it. It's more interesting when you get to see a person in their environment. And even if what they're doing is not directly related to what they're talking about, it doesn't matter. If you can show people doing something that they would normally do, or if you can just give them valuable information while you're doing something, that's way more interesting than a talking head. I pulled up a couple of my reels to show you what I'm talking about. In this one, I am literally getting ready for bed while I'm talking about something totally unrelated. Not talking about skincare, but I'm showing skincare. But it's action, it moves the viewer forward. Here's another one. I wanted to get my husband in the shot because when you add people to your videos, that's also more interesting. And he was eating dinner. So we just did it while he was eating dinner. We let that determine what the scene was going to look like. Similar example with this one. I wanted to add another person, so I put my son in it. He was already playing a video game, so I just made the scene around what he was already doing. So that way you're not having to create a scene or add a lot of time to your production. Now let's get to batching. Step one, we have to plan and brainstorm ideas. I've talked about this before. I usually keep it in a notes app or in my notebook, but now, for this project, I am putting my ideas on my desktop and then I am planning them out with the bullet points. So first things first, we're gonna brain dump as many ideas as possible, even the bad ones. I was doing this last night and lo and behold, I had an idea, cranked out a reel on the fly because ideas are like bunnies and they just keep multiplying as long as you have a place for them to multiply. And that's what this is. So put all of your hooks down. When I say hook, I mean, what's the first sentence out of your mouth on your video that's going to grab your ideal person's attention? You take the title and you make it something catchy. Like you're going to tell them how you're going to fix their problem or you ask them a question that they've been asking themselves. Last night I said how to get rid of negative thoughts because I know because my ideal person is a human, she is dealing with negative thoughts because we all are. And in fact, I just recently was just buried in them. I was in the weeds of negative thoughts and I had to reverse engineer and ask myself, what did I do to get out of that? And visually, how can I tell that story? So hook would be in that situation in this reel right here that, that aired last night, as we'd say in TV, is how to handle negative thoughts or how to get out of negative thoughts. That's my hook. I'm talking to one person and I'm asking them a question. Then I've got to give them something tangible, something that they can apply to their lives right now that's going to give them a win and make them feel seen and heard like they're not alone. And I know she's not alone because like I said, we all deal with negative thoughts. So then the next thing you have to do after you get your hook is figure out what your tips are going to be. And I like to keep my reels within like four sentences. I know if I'm in around four sentences, I'm not gonna go too long. As I mentioned in the last video, 22 seconds is the longest you wanna go on a reel because it will hurt your watch time if people are not watching the entire video. And that's why I'm talking about changing up scenes and putting people in your video, changing up shots. That visually will keep a person interested and they're more likely to watch the entire video, which helps you get the algorithm, get it out to more people. So that's a good point. 
Be thinking about things that you have gone through in your life, whether that's how you're dealing with thoughts, how you're becoming more productive, how you do what you do. If you're an expert in what you do, every process, every system, every step, every hack that you use is great content for your ideal person. That's why I'm walking you through my process because I know this is something that you're interested in. And if you're interested in something else, leave a comment below and give me some ideas and I will be sure to put those in the next videos. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do because I have so many cool ideas coming up as far as how you can get really creative with your reels and where to look for inspiration. But back to this video, think about what your ideal person could use. And then we're not ready to shoot yet because now we've got to think about the visuals. Where are we going to be when we shoot these videos? What are we gonna be wearing? Not that it's all that as far as having to have the perfect clothes, but maybe you wanna be a different character. And by the way, there is like a continuum, a spectrum on this, on this Reels creation thing. You can do the lip dubs with this batching. You could go and change out tops and point to a bunch of random, imaginary text bubbles and fill in the blanks later. I don't recommend that, but that's possible and people do that. Or you can take it up a notch, use your actual voice, get creative, get visual, show your face, which is what we're doing today. So you gotta figure out, are you gonna have a prop? Are you changing locations? Are you changing clothes? Are you gonna act out another person in your video? And what I try to do is have simple videos in a week and then some more complicated that will take more time. That way they're not all requiring a whole bunch of time. Again, why I don't batch, but we're batching today, yes. We are ready to roll, people. I put all of my notes from my spreadsheet on a notebook so I can take it from room to room. I have the order of all my shots for all three reels, and I know what rooms I'm going to be in, what I'm going to be wearing, and I'm going to shoot the outfits like this one right here first where my hair can be fine and I don't have to look like I'm doing anything. And then once I get all of that, which will be the part where I'm talking, then I'll go cl change clothes and I will shoot all the different elements that will go over that video in editing. So even while you hear me talking, you'll be seeing something else. You'll see what I'm talking about. Let's get started, shall we? Oh, here's my editing hack. When I shoot my reels, I shoot them inside Instagram stories because A, I can use a filter and B, it plays back my clip immediately and I can see if I liked it or if I didn't like it. I chunk almost every one of them except maybe two, but usually just one version. And then that is the version I use. So I'm not having to wade through a bunch of B-roll and clips that I don't like. It saves you so much time in editing. And since you used a filter, you don't have to do any color correction either. Now I'm checking it, making sure I can hear it. Got a weird wrinkle on my boob, not using that one. Okay, I have shot and edited number one. That was the one that was just stand-ups. I have done everything except one piece of B-roll for the second one, even edited. I literally have to get one clip upstairs, it's done. And then my last one is all just in one place. It's gonna be money easy, let's go. Back up in the living room to shoot the B-roll. So this is just video that will go over my voice that I've already recorded downstairs. So to recap, the first video was visual because I changed locations and I had props. The second one is visual because I'm putting this extra B-roll on top of me talking. The last one, I'll be doing something. So each one has a different element of being visual. It's all intended to keep the viewer's attention so that they will watch until the end of the video. Okay, I just got the B-roll in, threw it on the timeline. This one's edited, so now two down, completely ready to go and one more to shoot. This is the fun one. We are now entering the scene of our final reel. This is the set. I am already ready for bed. This is what I'm talking about. When you are already doing something, just incorporate that into your reel. Not for every video, but for these daily videos, why not? It's kind of like a story, except it's produced. Knock that out in 10 minutes, the shooting and the editing, and my face is clean. If you want more tips like this, subscribe so that you won't miss the future videos. And if you need more ideas, check out this video right here.